Uh, first of all, I want to congratulate uh, the Haslam family. I want to congratulate the Cleveland Browns organization, uh, Coach Stefanski, our whole staff, all our players. I really want to congratulate our fans because, you know, I, I grew up one of them, so I know what this means. Um, congratulations to our great city of Cleveland, and, and uh, I couldn't be proud of our guys. Last night, uh, Coach talked about um, – our three keys to victory in this game. And, and number one was the turnover ratio and we were plus five. Number two was relying on our technique and fundamentals because we didn't practice a lot this week. And, and that's what the guys did. They relied on their fundamentals, the techniques. They trusted that. They trusted their coaching and how they played all year. That's been our foundation. They did a phenomenal job with that. And the third thing that coach talked about all week long, and uh, we talked about it right before the game was we need to play as a team. And that was a great team win, great complimentary football. We played well in all three phases of the game and obviously a, a huge, huge victory for our football team and for our city. Thank you very much, Coach. We're going to head into questions. The first one will go to Tom Withers. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, Mike. Congratulations. Have you had a chance to talk to Kevin yet? Yes, we called him. Uh, Andrew, Barry, and I just called him. And actually, the players had already had him on FaceTime there. He was watching part of the uh, celebration at the end of the in the locker room at the end of the game. And you touched on this, Mike, but what does it say about the resiliency of your team, not practicing all week, all the obstacles, everything you guys had to overcome? I, I told them after the game, I told these guys, I admire them so much. I respect them. Um, they've had so much uh, adversity in terms of schedule changes. I know everybody's had adversity. I'm not trying to say we had any more adversity than anybody else. But um, at the end of the day, this this was a difficult week, you know, a playoff week. And um, But they never batted an eye. And, and they took every meeting extremely seriously. Um, they had We had virtual walkthroughs. Uh, we had a good solid practice on Friday and more meetings and, and, and on Saturday we had our walkthrough and more meetings last night, more meetings on the walkthrough this morning. So I, I think they, they never batted an eye, to be honest with you. I think as coaches, we were probably a little bit more concerned than they were. Uh, but overall, they, they just responded so well. And, and you're right, they have a ton of resilient, resiliency and they did it all year long. Thank you, Tom. Jay Trotter, you're next. Yeah, Coach, you said you were going to keep your pregame speech uh, short and sweet. Uh, what did you say? Because uh, your team absolutely came out swinging there. Well, it's Kevin's team, but I appreciate that. Yeah, I just reiterated what Kevin talked about. I I, I told him, um, you know, what we needed to do, the turnover margin, that the team that was going to win this game was going to win the turnover margin. I think we're, we were 10 and 0 coming into today when we either won the turnover margin or we're even, and that's huge. And obviously tonight it came to fruition. Um, you know, talked about the techniques, talk about uh, playing as a team, talk about complimentary football. And, um, you know, just told them, you know, that's what we need to do to win the game. And the, fa the faster physical team, more physical team was going to win the game. And I thought we did a good job in that regard as well. Thanks, Jake. Hey, Coach, what can you say about the way uh, Baker Mayfield performed tonight and was able to, uh, you know, make sure you guys capitalize off those takeaways? Yeah, you know, that guy has got a, an amazing amount of self-confidence in, in a good way. And I know he's got some swagger to him and, and uh, but I, I love the way he handles adversity. When, when Pittsburgh started coming back and I knew they would, we all knew they would because they're a great football team. They're a well-coached football team. They got in you know, a hall of fame quarterback and we knew they were going to do whatever they could to get back in that game. Every time they scored or, or um, got a good drive or whatever the case may be, Bakes on the sideline, talking to the offensive line, talking to all their, I was offensive players and, and, and he had them ready for the next drive. And we didn't always go down and score in the next drive in the second half. But I tell you what, you know, take advantage of those turnovers and, and turn them to seven points instead of three. Those were huge early on in the game. And then the way he responded when Pittsburgh was coming back in the second half was ex it was extremely impressive. Thanks, Nate. Fred Greetham is next. Yeah, coach, congratulations. Nothing to this coaching, huh? Oh, geez. No, I, I, I tell you what, the, the foundation has been set. We all know it's Kevin's team. And, and I was just, like I said earlier in the week, I'm, I was honored and humbled to be in this position. And, and the guys responded well. And, and uh, we went out and won the game. Mary Kay Cabot, go to you. Uh, yeah, Coach, since we uh, weren't able to be in there, can you uh, give us a, a little bit of a, a glimpse of, of what the post-game celebration was like in the locker room and what was kind of going on in there? There's a, a lot of loud music and a lot of dancing and a lot of celebrating and hooting and hollering and and guys is very, very excited. It, it, it means a lot. A lot of these guys have not won a playoff game. A lot of them haven't been in a playoff game before. So um, those that had not, it you know, means a lot. And, and those of us who've been around, I've only been in 
a handful of games and I've only, I think, won one in my 19 year career. So this was a huge, huge game for me personally as well. And, you know, being from Cleveland and, and um, you know, just understanding what this means to the city and to the organization. And, and I had my wife and all four of my kids were at the game in the stands right behind us. And it was awesome. And Lavi, we'll go to you. Hey, coach, in, in that second half, when you guys had that lead, you you kind of stayed aggressive. You were throwing the football, uh, I think you threw 19 times in the second half. Was that the approach you guys wanted to take coming out of the locker room with the lead? We did, I think, with Pittsburgh, because if you remember a couple of weeks ago against Indianapolis, now it wasn't that as big a lead, but India, I think, was up 24 to 7. And, you know, Pittsburgh came roaring back and scored three touchdowns in the second half, 128 24. So that was in the back of my mind, at least. And I think any time that, you know, if you slow down a little bit or change what your game plan is, um, it would have been a mistake. And I thought Alex did a phenomenal job. He called a great game on offense. And Joe did a really nice job with the defense as well. And, and I thought our special teams played pretty well uh, tonight. So it was a great complimentary football game. Thanks, Dan. Scott Patrick has our next question. Hey, Mike. Baker mentioned on TV after the game just the belief that he and the rest of the guys had. Where do you think that comes from, given all the adversity you had to face this week? I think because of the adversity, and it was iron sharpens iron, right? So because of the adversity uh, that we've had this year, it's made us a stronger team. It's made us a better team. It's made us a closer team. And I think, you know, if it was all roses and, and uh, you know, butterflies, it would be, you know, wouldn't be, uh, we wouldn't be able to respond in, in times of, of, of adversity. And so because things started happening in that third quarter where there was some adversity that, that happened, the way our team responded after that is based on, you know, where we came from and, and from day one in training camp we've we've talked about adversity we knew we we're going to face adversity time and time again and because we have we've actually gotten a lot better at facing that adversity if that makes sense hey scott next is jeff shadell hey mike could you talk about your offensive line i mean you lose mm -hmm. you lose jack conklin you lose michael dunn and yet you guys still block pretty well yeah, I think Blake Hans did a great job. Kendall Lamb did a great job. Um, I think, you know, Michael Dunn did a great job while he was in there. Uh, next man up, I know uh, Anthony Fabiano played for our, on our field goal team. And shoot, we had Larry Ogunjobi on the field goal team tonight because we lost some of the old linemen. Um, you know, I, I was real proud of the way those guys stepped. I know uh, Coach Callahan and Coach Peters would be very proud of those guys as well and the way they played tonight. And Ryan Cordell did a great job with the old line and, and handling those guys without our two old line coaches. So, um, you know, Jack does have a hamstring. As you guys know, he was out of the game after that. And then Michael Dunn has a calf strain. Those are the two injuries coming out. Thanks, Chef. Tony Grossi, go to you. Hey, Mike, congratulations, man. Thank you. Um, you said it. You grew up a, a Browns fan. So were you nervous in the fourth quarter? Did you feel, you know, what the, the rest of Cleveland was feeling? No, not really. I, I mean, I was thinking of it as a coach more than to be honest with you, Tony. I'm not as a fan at that point. But um now after the game I'm so I can understand why people are probably a little bit nervous like oh man it's the Steelers and the, and the Browns and this rivalry and and uh but no I, I I think in the third quarter I was a little nervous but I think the way our offense responded and then our defense responded well after that uh made everybody feel a heck of a lot better obviously thanks Tony we're gonna go to Nate Ulrich this will be our last question of Coach Brief. Hey Mike, just because it kind of sealed the game for you, um, what did you see about Taki Taki's uh, interception and just, you know, how big of a moment was that for you guys? That was huge. I mean, they, they had some momentum going and, um, you know, like, like our defense has done all year long and, and they've created turnovers in, in crucial moments. And that's exactly what that was. And, and, and I was proud of Taki and, and it was, the ball was pretty high and he had, had good, good ups on that play. And, and made a nice play for us. So, I mean, every turnover, I mean, to start the game with the snap going over Ben's head and, and us recovering for a touchdown and then and then having a turnover on the next on the next drive, I believe, and just, I mean, plus five uh, on the road in a playoff game. I know that doesn't happen very often. So real proud of our defense, real proud of the offense, real proud of Dearness Johnson, the way he responded on kickoff return and Cody making all his kicks and Jamie having a good game and all our core teamers flying around tonight. And I think we, we wanted it and, and uh, they played really well. 